We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Today we're leaving Cabo and heading to a new destination. Puerto Escondido. Today is one of the longest travel days we've had in a while, but we're really excited about our new destination. Even Cinders is looking forward to traveling. This is the first time flying out of the Cabo airport, so we didn't know what to expect and arrived at the airport two hours earlier than we needed to. They also had a little bit of a delay getting us onto the airplane because their system went down. But as you can see, we're in the air now. We are officially arriving to Mexico City. We have a couple hours here and we're going to go and check out a lounge. If you remember from some of our previous videos, we spent the month of December in Mexico City, which includes a Christmas video and a New Year's video. If you're interested in any of the Mexico City adventures, feel free to check out those videos next. There was so much to see and do here, we loved every minute of our month of December here. We also spent a little bit of time in a couple of the lounges, however, we were curious about one in particular and we're going to see if we can get more information about it. Now we're going to go check in for our second flight of the day, which is just down this way. We're going to be heading out of Mexico City into Puerto Escondido. We found the counter and check-in was a breeze. When you come to Mexico City, look for this lounge in particular and we're going to tell you a little bit more why in just a moment. First, we're going to find a comfortable place to sit and relax where we can allow Cinders to stretch her legs a little bit. Then we're going to grab a quick bite to eat and maybe some coffee to help us energize a little bit. And by coffee, what I mean is we did something pretty fantastic. Check this out. That's a picture of us on top of this cappuccino. This is Israel and he's been helping us out here in the lounge today. One of the things that he helped us out with was that amazing cappuccino that you're gonna see right there. What else is available here as complimentary or amenities or what do you have that's available? Uh, for example, if you want entrance to the lounge, we have available massage for feet and hands. We have a shoe shine and we have the service of, for example, if you're celebrating something, we can make a cappuccino with your picture on the cafe and we have the service of golf cart. The what? Golf cart. Golf cart? That's right. Golf they can take you to your gate if you, if you want. All that services include on the on the entrance. That's pretty cool. The showers are not possible right now. However, once other things are cleared up, they'll be available. They do have massage chairs. That's right. Also, you have one dish of the menu. One yeah, dish of the menu, which is right here. It also includes an unlimited bar. And of course, exceptionally clean bathroom facilities. We are the most completed lounge in Mexico City. You can also redeem spot on rewards here. If you're trying to accumulate some points. This is how you use it. You take this, right? Scan your code on there and then it'll pull up your information. That's super easy. Wouldn't you like to claim these rewards? If you travel a lot going through Mexico City, this is where you want to go. The time in the lounge ended too soon. Viva Aerobus, ladies and gentlemen. And in no time, we're in Puerto Escondido. We've got our bags and we're gonna get going now. It's a late arrival, so we're gonna go get some rest before we start our next day. We have arrived in Puerto Escondido. We are super excited to finally be here and be able to explore this town. Right now, we're gonna go and get our bearings to see what this town has to offer. Puerto Escondido is a great place to visit and has a lot of tours. But first, we're gonna show you where the locals and long-term residents live. We stopped to get this pineapple water, just for what it is. We couldn't record there because there was music in the background, but if you're there, if you see one of these things, stop and get it. It's it really refreshing. This is an easy vendor to find. She is located right outside the main Mercado that's in the center of town. And speaking of the main Mercado, we're going to go check that out in just a moment. We decided to come to this market that we just showed you because we were curious what was in here and we really wanted to show you guys what we found. So let's take a quick walk around and check it out.
that was really awesome inside that market. There's so much to see in there. It, it was a blast. It, yeah. was, it was really a blast. Had a great time just milling around, yeah. checking things out, talking to people. It was so fun. They've got everything from furniture, clothes, to food, restaurants. I mean, everything you need is right there. So we're going to definitely return. Next week, so. we're going to try to get there early before, because this time we got there, we didn't know about it, but we, we stumbled upon it. They were all closing down. So the question is, would you like to see a more in-depth look at that market? Let us know in the comments below. We've been walking around Puerto Escondido a little bit and we've discovered a couple of things that are quite interesting. The first thing is there is a lot to do here, including many beaches. The second thing is Puerto Escondido is very large. We recommend that you get some form of transportation. We are currently using a motorbike. We have helmets to go along with our daily activities. So we're going to have those with us from now on. The other thing is you can also use colectivos. They are a very economical way to get around. And they are everywhere so they're very easy to catch. We've also looked into the weather that's going to be happening while we're here. During the day it can be in the 80s easily. It's pretty nice all day long. Since Puerto Escondido is going to be an oceanside town, you're going to find a lot of beaches, but not every part of Puerto Escondido is beach. You actually have some cliffside dwellings as well. We'll show you some of that right here. Of course, there are several easy access points of entry to the beaches. And in addition to that, a lot of places will sell coconuts. We will admit that some beaches are easier to get to than others. And some have more to do on them than others as well. And of course, we're going to be filming as many of the local secrets or tourist traps or anything else we can find that will be beneficial for you to know about, including little treasures like this. And if you're lucky, we'll show you where this chair is at. Leave a comment below if you're curious. Puerto Escondido has lots of secrets, some beautiful views, areas to explore, and things to do. You should definitely join us in our upcoming videos as we continue to explore this amazing little town. We're going to be showing you more. Which is going to include beaches, restaurants, whatever we have down here that we can find, we're going to show you. Stay tuned for those upcoming videos. We're excited to share it all with you. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.